I am from Oregon and um, I'm doing something today that I've never done before. I am stopping at all of the pullouts. Yeah, it takes a little more time, but I'm only going from Yahats to Florence today, which is what, like 25 miles or something for the whole day. So that's what I'm doing today. This one is the Bob Creek. I've stopped at this one before for sunset because it's a great place to view the sunset. There's a surfer out there and some people beach combing. I have never been here during the day. I've only been here on, at sunset. So new stuff today. The next pull out down is Stonefield Beach. Let's go check this one out. This one does not have an RV turnaround so it's not appropriate for everyone but it's appropriate for vans. This is the primary reason that I decided to build out a van was for being able to do all the pullouts on the Oregon coast. Even though I had never done it even in a car. It's kind of weird, but I'm not a super huge fan of beaches or walking on beaches. I don't really care for walking on sand. Um, so, and since this is just a sandy beach, most people will love this. There are wild strawberries all over. Of course, it's not strawberry season. Now I'm at the next one south, and it's called Kokotee Kluchman. And it's kind of curious because there's a fence all the way around it, but there are cars that I'm sure people are down, so they must have gone around or over the fence. So going around the fence, they, I came to a little trail that comes down to this little culvert under the road going down into the ocean. So these pullouts are only like less than five miles from each other. Not even probably. So it's a lot of just starting and stopping. They're all so different. And it's kind of fun just having a little adventure today to um, show what's here. Now I'm at a turnout that's just labeled Ocean Beach Picnic Area. It's part of the Swiss Law National Forest. And um, it's a fee area. Uh, my National Parks Pass has expired and I'm not going to walk down there to show you. I'm just gonna show you from up here at the parking lot. It is a really fabulous beach though. It's so sunny here, the lighting's a little harsh. This is also a fun beach to write on the beach, write messages on the beach because there's an overlook on the highway um, just above it. And so you can take really good pictures of whatever it is that you've written on the beach. Oh, and I just wanted to make sure you know that this one is not appropriate for RVs either. It's um, vans or, or smaller. So um, just know that it's, um, it's steep getting down in here and steep going back up and there's not a big area for turnaround. So that was um, as far as it was. It was like not even a mile from one to the other. Now we're at Muriel Ponsler Wayside. Just another beach, another place to um, picnic and have fun. Um, I've always joked that the Oregon coast is the best place to vacation with a potty training toddler because there's literally a public restroom like every couple of miles. One thing that's unique about the Oregon coast is that it's all public. So all of the coastline itself is public, all the beach. And so you can walk as far as you want. You can walk, you know, what is it? 350 miles or whatever it is from north to south if you wanted to. Okay, looks like here we've got some fishermen, fisher people, people fishing. I guess that's a better way to say it. Um, again with another little creek going out into the ocean and then a lot of beach. I may not be able to do all of the pullouts because there's so many, um, but I hope that gives you a really good taste of what you can experience on the Oregon coast um, because it is just, there's, it's so plentiful. <laughs> and, it's just, and this is November 16th, um, actually the one year anniversary of the channel. And so that gives you an idea, it could be really stormy, it could be really beautiful like today where it's sunny and cool. This 
spot is really nice if you have a bigger rig. There's lots of big parking and access to the beach. I'm not even gonna get out to show you this time. It's just a trail down to the beach. a little too fast. Oh, I love the light shining through the trees. I'm gonna go to the RV parking because I'm meeting friends here. Yep, there's Brian. So I just got my parking pass. It's $5 a day or $30 a year. So I'm in the RV parking and the pay station is at the very far end of the non-RV parkings. They put it about as far as they possibly could have put it. The only other way it could have been farther is up at the lighthouse. I'm gonna catch up with Brian and his dog Stella. Walking up to the lighthouse here. We're at the Hasita Head Lighthouse. view is spectacular. Okay, we climbed up above the lighthouse so that you can see the the light better, the prisms of the light. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little snippet of the Oregon coast. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.